ਅਸਲਾਮ ਅਲੈਕਮ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਬਾਬੇ ਆਜ਼ਮ ਨੇ ਫੁੱਲੋ ਕਹਿ ਲੈ ਬਾਲੋ ਠੀਕ ਹੋ ਮੈਂ ਦੁਆ ਕਰਨਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਰੋਜ਼ੇ ਠੀਕ ਠਾਕ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਆਮੀਨ ਆਮੀਨ ਰਮਜ਼ਾਨ ਡੇ 24 ਅਲਹਮਦੁਲਿਲਾ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਫੈਂਟਾਸਟਿਕ ਆਮ ਬੈਕ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਵਿਦ ਅਨਦਰ ਰੈਸਪੀ ਇੱਕ ਮਜ਼ੇਦਾਰ ਸੀ ਰੈਸਪੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਬਣਾਣੀ ਆ ਡਿਨਰ ਬਣਾਣਾ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਡਿਨਰ ਤੱਕ ਲੈ ਫਿਰ ਟਾਈਟ ਤੂੰ ਦੇਸੀ ਖਾਣਾ ਖਾ ਖਾ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਚੇਂਜ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਡਿਸਾਈਡ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਡਿਨਰ ਕੋ ਸੀ ਚਿਕਨ ਚਿਕਨ ਬਨਾਸਾ ਸਬਜ਼ੀਆਂ ਸਬਜ਼ੀਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਤਾਂ ਆਓ ਤੱਕ ਕੇ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਬਣ ਸੀ ਐਂਡ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਨ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਅਸਲ ਦਾ ਟਾਰਗੇਟ ਹੈ ਰੋਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੇ ਐਂਡ ਤੱਕ 1000 ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬਰ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਤੱਕ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਅਲ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਵਿਦਾਊਟ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਨਾਟ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਦਾ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਬਟਨ ਨਾਉ ਇਜ਼ ਯਰ ਟਾਈਮ ਕਦੀ ਦੇਰ ਹੈ ਦਬਾ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਬਟਨ ਚਲੋ ਚਲੀਏ ਫਿਰ ਤਾਂ ਰੈਸਪੀ ਸਾ ਅੱਜ ਆਪਣੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਨੀ ਆ ਫਿਰ ਤਾਂ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਨ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਨਿਕ ਜੀ ਅਰਜ਼ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਮਲੇ ਨੈਫਿਊ ਇਜ਼ ਬੇ ਪੋਲੀਨ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਦੁਆ ਕਰਨਾ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਸ਼ਫਾਅਤ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਜਲਦ ਤੋਂ ਜਲਦ ਕਾਰ ਵਾਪਸ ਆ ਜਾਏ ਇਨਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਦੁਆ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਆਈ ਗੋ ਆਲ ਮਾਈ ਗ੍ਰੀਟਿੰਗਸ ਆਰ ਰੈਡੀ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਮੇਕਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਚਿਕਨ ਡਿਨਰ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਰੋਸ ਚਿਕਨ ਡਿਨਰ ਹੋਪਫੁਲੀ ਆਈ ਗੋ ਮਾ ਚਿਕਨ ਦੇ ਰੈਡੀ ਮਾਰਿਨੇਟਡ I'll let you know on the spices what we got on there. It's just a light seasoning. We don't want it too desi-fied. It is an English dinner. Some garlic slices. And uh, Aunt Bashiro's Yorkshire puddings here. Going with the, our meal. Got some potatoes there. Peeled. Cooked for my mashed potato. And I've got some veg there. You can use fresh. I've only got frozen at the moment. So I'm going to make do with that one. And a bit of gravy to go with it. Nice simple recipe. and uh, let's get on with it belly cheese uh, we're going to cut our potatoes up into smaller pieces the pani vich rakh de inanu wal sam pehla mash potato banane waste ta chalo inanu cut le bhi nikke nikke piece karne aloo sade ho gaye hun inanu pani vich chatti I got my water on the gas now uh for my potatoes and for the veggies too so I'm just going to let that boil up now for a few seconds and then I'm going to add my potatoes and the veggies to it too my water is boiling away in both of the pans so I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to it to both of them another few seconds I'm going to chop my potatoes and veggies pan che minute ho gaye aisa da pani taiyar ho gaya uh ਬੁਲ ਬੁਲੀਆਂ ਆਸਤਾ ਆਸਤਾ ਮਾਰਨਾ ਪਿਆ ਤਾਂ ਹੁਣ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਆਡ ਅਪਟੇਟਸ ਇਨਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਵਨ ਕੇਅਰਫੁਲੀ ਦਾ ਬੇ ਮਸਲ ਬਿਸਮਿਲਲਾਹ ਰਹਿਮਾਨ ਰਹੀਮ ਪਟੇਟਸ ਆ ਇਨ ਤੇ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਹੁਣ ਚੰਗੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਵਾਸਾਂ ਚ ਚੱਡੀਆਂ ਆਲੂ ਪੋਲੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋ ਜਾਣੇ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਇਸ ਨਾਲ ਮਸ ਪਟੇਟੋ ਬਣਾਸਾਂ ਤੇ ਆਮ ਜਸ ਐਨ ਆਡ ਦਾ ਵੈਜ ਇਨਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਵਨ ਇਨ ਅ ਫਿਊ ਸੈਕਿੰਡਸ ਆਵਰ ਚਿਕਨ ਇਜ਼ ਹੇਅਰ ਰੈਡੀ uh i've just lightly uh oiled it with a little bit of oil and uh, just a standard chicken rub i don't know what make it is because uh, it's already you know out of the pocket in one of these plastic uh, containers so it's just a standard chicken rub and uh, lightly seasoned very lightly aaj main hai zara masale sabhe ne us masala khai khai ke ta sare ne pet aga bani lodi ko ni ta e bhi bada oven on kiti hai to about 180 degrees and the hopefully in a few minutes the innovation sat the aim hala zyada the nahi lagdi chicken pakane waste adha ghanta 40 minute nazar rakhsa the innovation abne sakso chicken apple kali lakha ta par thode more karta hu thode steam rakh di rabe ta kar sa ta the chicken asal mein thoni the poli poli thi the hog ji ਜਿਆਦਾ ਜ਼ੋਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਾਉਣਾ ਪੈ ਲਿਆ ਤਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਤੱਕ ਲੈ ਗਈ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਨਾਲ ਕਰ ਦੇ ਮੋਰ ਹੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਕਲੀ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਪੋ ਦਾ ਫੋਇਲ ਆ ਫੀ ਹੋਲਸ ਇਨ ਦੈ ਆਮ ਗਨ ਪੁਟ ਦਿਸ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਓਵਨ ਫੋਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਹਾਫ ਐਨ ਆਵਰ 40 ਮਿੰਟਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ 180 ਡਿਗਰੀਸ ਆਮ ਗਨ ਕੀਪ ਚੈਕਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਸੀ ਹਾਊ ਲੌਂਗ ਇਟ ਟੇਕਸ ਆਮ ਰੈਕਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਰੋਫਲੀ ਅਬਾਊਟ 
and uh, well, that's not a difficult job. Just the time is there, right? Just need the right time in and cook the right stuff at the right time. Our chickens in and aloo we have in Valeri as the the garlic bread hash browns right at the last minute because it's uh, stay nice and hot and uh, gravy on the last minute too. So uh, we're on a waiting, we're chilling. Our, our plate has been about ten minutes now. They've been boiling and uh, now what I'm going to do is add my veg to the water too. And uh, we're not going to cook the veg for too long, just for about five ten minutes. And uh, obviously we don't want them to uh, turn into a mush, so just a light boil. And uh, we're going to take them out. And like I said, my potato has been about ten minutes, so we're going to need about another 20, 15, 20 minutes. And hopefully they'll be ready. And we're going to make the mush, and jobs are good. But the review meter, okay, the aloo zara check kariye, the levy end. Now the panjak meter, okay, then cut the veg for easy. It's still a bit hard, so. I'm going to give it another five minutes and see how it goes. Just not another check on the potatoes. We put them into again. Yeah. Nice and soft now. See the knife just going straight through it. So we're going to take this off, switch it off. And now we're just going to drain our potatoes. It is ready nice and soft. We just let them drain for a few seconds and uh, transfer it back into the same pot and uh, make our mash. Uh, I've got my pan back here. I've got my pan back here again. I've just got some butter in it. And now I'm going to add the potatoes back into the pan. You normally need white pepper, but uh, I can only find the black pepper at the moment. So a little bit of pepper, and uh, just a uh, half a teaspoon of salt goes in, and a few drops of milk. A bit more than a few drops, and now we're going to get our mash up. I'm going to give it a good mash. Bismillah. And if you feel like it's not creamy enough, you could always add a bit more milk or the butter. Our mash is ready now, nice and creamy mash. And uh, now we're just going to sort the veggies out. And what we're going to do with this is get a bowl with some cold water and pour it in there so they don't uh, further cook and turn into mush. We need to stop the cooking process. I'm now just going to add my veg into the cold water. So we're just going to let that rest now until uh, the food's ready and uh, 30 seconds in the microwave. Slight warm up. Our chicken's almost nearly ready. So I'm going to place a few garlic breads. I have garlic bread first and then I have the fill and the Yorkshire pudding because they only take a few minutes and you don't want to overcook them too much. Our garlic breads are ready. Straight into the oven. And our chicken's cooking away nicely. We're gonna have a look at that too in a few seconds. Bismillah. Chicken curry in there. It's a pretty light. The turkey is very cooked. Pakki is here. I need to cut it. Just be careful. It is piping hot. Oh, mashallah! It's smelling lovely at the moment. It is nice and juicy. It's actually cooked from inside, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the foil off and leave it in for a few more minutes so it just like hopefully it browns up from the top. But other than that, it is ready. But I'm going to chuck in for a few minutes while the rest of our uh, Aunt Bashiro's uh, Yorkshire puddings and the garlic breads get ready. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much if you're watching. The Inuvirak Sabinich, now leave your garmo jasi, it's ready on there.
garlic bread, ready, nice and crunchy. Bismillah. Rosa sala iftar ho gaya. Dost khana Ali ko nahi ready hai. Rosa to khol bhi hai. Bismillah. More than three minutes. Iftar will be on the table. Our gravy is getting ready. It's the only thing that I didn't make. I made the rest of it. So uh, I don't like to take the credit for something that I'm not done. But uh, the boss knows about the consistency of the gravy. We don't want it too thin or too runny. But then again, I prefer runny gravy. Do let me know in the comments. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Chicken teddy ready, Ogiya. The stirhan is ready. So I've got my garlic breads there. Some uh, Aunt Bashiro's Yorkshire puddings, you can't beat them. Chicken's nice and scrumptious. Like, like I said, it's a light chicken rub on it. We're going easy on the masala today. My creamy mash, homemade. And the, the five a day, some veggies. They were frozen, but uh, just as good, just as good. And the good old gravy. So now we're just going to plate it all up. I'll give you a little taste test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to make a plate up for you. Show you how it's done. I'm just going to get our chicken first. Piece of chicken. Two Yorkshire puddings. Oh, but yeah, that's if tari time or rosa on that is three. Bit of mash to go with it. Can't forget your greens. And now the drizzle. Keep an eye out for the drizzle. Would you like extra gravy, love? That's my take on English dinner. Uh, I don't know if you do it differently, but I reckon I'm happy with that one. So get a bite ready for you. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah, that chicken and the gravy I've got to say it's nice, nice light flavor on the chicken. Niamto, yeah, they agree, niamto. The one matter is the niamto. This is a tunnel, but then I'll press it on my Bismillah. Alhamdulillah, Rosa Shuza iftar ho gaya. Pondisha ne bhi takhe. To sam samne ta muzera rest karne hai. Pita kne hai jo koi cha cha aagi koi mitha shetha hona chahiye na. Ta filhal ta bas Alhamdulillah, Rosa Shuza khul gaya. Ta rest ho riya thori ji. Alhamdulillah, another iftari, another amazing recipe there for you. Do try it out, and if you do, let me know how you got on. And uh, that's all for us for now. And hopefully, I'm gonna see you again on another vlog. And uh, before I go. Please, uh, like I said at the start of the vlog, do uh, do dua for my little nephew. Uh, may Allah give him shifa. And uh, hopefully he's back with us. So uh, on that note, I'm going to see you again. Sorry, one more thing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said before, we need to get to 1,000 by the end of Ramazan. 1,000 subscribers. So uh, please, if you've not subscribed, do it now. Take care. Allah, then inshallah, see you again with another vlog and another amazing recipe. 110.